So hi everybody and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 5 full game tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 61 and in this video we continue with our uh, little game which we want to finish in 7 days. But uh, here is the overview and on the overview we know that we stopped here in, at gameplay. And in gameplay we have finished some tasks. We finished our last task was this option menu. And in this video I won't talk about shader complexity because I found a problem. And what is that? So when I start here this game, you can see we can start this new game. My all name this is kind of, con all this kind of stuff we talk. But when I press now here in gameplay, you can press, for example, F1, then you see the wires. That's very nice. You can press F2 and then you see here the other mode. Uh, which I mode is this lighting. one? Reflection capture. And then I press F3 uh, to go to the... Uh, yeah, you can you have here the different kind of modes and let me show you what this mode is when I go quit again. Normally you have here the option on the left side this wire uh, frame, right? And then we have here lit, for example, then we have unlit. Oh, we can't see nothing because I'm on the wrong level, sorry. Let me change to the gameplay level. So now it makes a little bit more sense. Now lit means um, this is the normal gameplay. So this is that what we expect when we play the game. And then you have here the other options here unlit to check some settings and a wireframe to see here the wires and so on. And then uh, yeah, detail slide. And yeah, you can check this, uh, all the settings, uh, what you need. Important for me is the shader complexity here. And the reason for that is, uh, actually there are some different other problems too. For example, uh, shader general, uh, uh, some shaders are too big and so, but the shader complexity uh, points out, which is really a problematic place. And the shader complexity is here, for example, this one here, and we have here this Alt 8 is the shortcut uh, if you want to use the keyboard. And when you see the shader complexity, you can see normally this uh, map here is very good. Green means very nice, and purple white means very bad. And when I zoom out, you can already see we have some of this purple color here which goes almost to white and that is the shader complexity of the river. And when you see something like that, then you can decide, do you really want a river? And do you think it is uh, causing problems for your performance? If you want a river, you can try to replace this river or make uh, find a better shader complexity for this one because in my case, I don't want to use this river. What I choose is I want to change the landscape. I just kick out this river and I need a little bit level design. So with that said, we can set this here back to normal, uh, to our normal case. And you have here the shortcuts. Here one more note. If you want set here your own... Um, own shortcut you can do this on not on project settings i think here you have to go to level uh to the level uh, editor preferences right so we have here two options we have here project settings you can you know we have here the input section anywhere and you can set here some things and i think the, to set this kind of uh, stuff you need to go here to editor preferences and then to keyboard so then you write here perhaps keyboard and you can see uh, here are general keyboard shortcuts and then you can set them some are already set but you can change them uh, like you want so this is one thing but interesting is also that you can see this uh, settings during gameplay so you don't have to uh, be out in game and that's a very nice feature i want to show you this one now too let's start the game again let's see if i find so this so i'm in the game and now the inter but here very important is the shortcut is not uh, the same shortcut like before here you have to press f1 f2 and 
so on. You have to check uh, what the shortcuts are during gameplay on your settings, but by default it's F1. You can see Wirefly. Uh, then F2 is this other one. Here is F3 is the normal mode, I think. And then we have this other lid mode. And here you have again this complex shader. And when it's I dark, can now I walk here, I can walk now here through my level and see, yes, the green parts are good. The uh, purple part is not so good. And yeah. And the next nice thing is about the setting. You know, my game here is dark normally so i have no light and i said hey i have to put all time uh directional light to see now yeah it's better just to use here the shortcut uh, for example if you say i use a wireframe or this one just for adjusting the things and then you can switch back to your normal gameplay who looks like this one no not this one sorry uh this one um and again, it's very nice when you work in very dark places and all not want all time switch uh, back and forth. So with that said, we can change now. In my case, I will change this. I make this offline this change, but I show you how easy it is to change. So you can see my problem is let's go here out for a moment. Let's press here alt go to this one wireframe and you can see i have only to find oops where is this alt 8 uh, alt 8 and you can see i have just to kick out the river here um, and then i have to change this river place perhaps if i need i don't know if i really need i can just select the river you can see now it's selected and i just kick it out and perhaps it works already let's save this just for this case and let's see how this looks like oops not this one and um alt uh, let's go back here i think it was alt f4 for normal that is dark again um this one would look like this one and i think yes you can make here a little bit uh, or let's say so you have to do here a little bit level design now because you can see this was here the river and they have made it perhaps you put there some grass or something like that and important is this place yes this one has to be redesigned as well because i don't use a river perhaps you can keep this and say it was a river and it is dried out uh, on mysterious per uh, reasons you can include this to your story if you like but in my case i do it only for performance reasons and of course you can change here the uh landscape so i solved this i wanted to only show you this in this video that you can um have options and then solve the little problems like that and by the way i show you this one how we can change the uh, landscape i hope you know it by now it's very easy you can go here on the left side to select then you go to the landscape and you can see now I could, if I want, change this one here. This one you should delay it, but let's skip this. And let's say I made now here a hill instead of a river. So very easy to change. And then you are, yeah, you are changing like you like it, smooth it and all this kind of stuff. I hope you know this kind of stuff. And if not, no worry, just do it. It's very easy. You see, I have no designer skills and i'm even able to do this and where here was a river and now it's nothing there of course you should uh, before you do this what i did right now let's go back here let's press here shift this one you should of course delete all unnecessary things here for example if you have something like that just select all of them delete and then make your landscape if you are not using them or you say i'm using them and say it should indicate uh I don't know i uh, indicate a river which is dried uh, a, a lake which is dried or something like that and you keep this in my case um i stop here i will not save this of course <laughs> i will just uh, quit this without saving and then i will make this offline and in our next video i want to show you a problem another problem which is 
uh, a checkbox problem. But we will talk about this checkbox problem in the next video and create a game instance probably to solve this problem. So if you have any questions like old time or any uh, comments, write it in the comment section. See you in the next video. And like old time, don't give up and have fun. Bye.